might get a little damp out there tonight, but if you use your imagination, you can see stars and planets. You're in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Why not? Hi, Leslie. Hi there, Noah. Rick. Noah. So, I've come to pick you up for dinner. Are you ready? Surprise, you didn't get here about an hour ago, Dr. Drake. What do you mean? Well, you left the hospital 30 minutes early. I would say that ought to put you a little ahead of schedule. Yes, well, I, uh, I finished a little early. Doctor, would you tell me how you get these special privileges? Hey, wait a minute. I finished all my rounds. I completed all my work. There was no reason for me to hang around there. Well, for your information, about three minutes after you walked out of the door, the emergency room was overfilled. What are you saying? I'm saying there was a big traffic accident, and we needed every bit of help we could get. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Oh, you are sorry? Yes. Well, besides the accident, there was also a catastrophe down in the supply room. What happened? Water pipe burst. Oh, goodness. You have to work like the devil to save thousands of dollars worth of medical supplies. I'm sorry that I wasn't there to help out at the emergency room. Well, in this particular instance, your being sorry didn't help. Didn't help at all. Are you saying that I'm supposed to know when some kind of emergency is going to happen? Doctor, had you been there, had you not left early, you would have been able to carry your share of the load. Rick, um, please hey. make... Doctor, just so you know all of the facts, every single available nurse and doctor in the hospital was used to help with those victims of the accident. And once they had that under control, most of them were downstairs, up to their ankles in water, trying to save the supplies. I'm a doctor. Surgeons aren't supposed to double as custodians. Right? Dr. Drake... You signed a contract with General, and once you sign that contract, you are obligated, you are responsible to General Hospital. Now, being a staff doctor here may at sometimes mean just a little more than dishing out medicine. Oh, I see. We're supposed to also be janitors. Is that right? I'm sorry if the noble Dr. Drake may have gotten his hands a little dirty outside of just going inside the scrub room. Hey, look, look. I mean, you got some kind of chip on your shoulder, and I don't get it. Now, I took a beating from you this morning because by some hospital rule, I was wrong. Now, I stand by what I did. And I'd operate on that little girl again exactly the same if the circumstances were the same, no matter what a hospital rule says. And I'm not going to stand here and have you read me out because I didn't slop water in some basement. Now, right here, right now, we're off duty. So why don't you get off my case? Dr. Drake, you're standing in my clinic. I want you out now. Gladly. And you do not leave the hospital tomorrow until 3.30, which is the normal checkout time. You got that? Yes, doctor. Thank you. Is this yours? Uh, 